Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, August the 23rd, 2022, and this is episode 3870. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, The Power of Praise. Stay tuned. The Power of Praise. Pastor Craig Rochelle preached from a passage of scripture that I have really enjoyed preaching uh, from over my years of pastoral experience and since in Second Chronicles chapter 20. It's so powerful. I'm going to read uh, a fair amount of scripture with you through that. But I want you to just understand that no matter what you're facing, the power of praise is powerful. Now, Jehoshaphat and the nation was being surrounded by not just one army, not just two armies, but three armies. And they stood before the Lord looking to him. And then, well, let me just read it to you. Then the spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaniah, the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph in the midst of the assembly. And he said, listen, all of you, Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, And you, King Jehoshaphat, (laughs) yeah, the king list needs to listen too, right? Thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, go down against them. They will surely come up by the ascent of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. I call that heavenly reconnaissance. Yeah, God knows where they are. Now he's telling them where they are. Then he says, you will not need to fight in this battle. What? (laughs) Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. Then the Levites of the children of the Kohathites and the children of the Korahites stood up to praise the Lord with voices loud and high. So they rose early in the morning and went into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and were saying, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. What? You put the choir in front of the army? <laughs> That'd be one way I'd be, I'd be wanting to turn in my choir robe on that day. The choir in front of the army. And then they begin to sing, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. Verse 22 says, now when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushes against the people of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, who had come against Jeruda, and they were defeated. That's the power of praise. That's the power of praise. Now, one of the songs that I just enjoyed singing sitting at the piano and playing it, was a song by the Imperials, and it's called Praise the Lord. Let me close by giving you the lyrics to that song. Are you ready? When you're up against a struggle that shatters all your dreams, your hopes been cruelly crushed by Satan's manifested scheme, and you feel the urge within you to 
submit to earthly fears. Don't let the faith you're standing in seem to disappear. Praise the Lord. He can work through those who praise him. Praise the Lord. For our God inhabits praise. Praise the Lord. For the chains that seem to bind you serve only to remind you that they drop powerless behind you when you praise the Lord. Oh, listen. What we need to do today is regardless of whatever we're experiencing, we need to praise the Lord because there is power in praise. Father, today, help me, help us to experience the power of praise in the midst of whatever we're facing. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great Tuesday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. <laughs>